For a partial bath, I would gather my supplies. Typically the basin and the soap and lotion would be in the residence rooms, but you want to make sure that you have enough before you do the bath. The linens I would gather from the linen closet, so I'd wash my hands and get two washcloths and a towel and a clean gown, unless they're getting dressed and then you would get the clothing um, from their room. I would knock on the door, wash my hands again. Good morning, Lee. I'm Myra. I'm here to do your partial bath. Are you ready to get up? I'll pull the curtain for privacy. And then I'll bring my supplies up closer to where I'm going to work. I'm going to raise your bed up before we start. The water in the basin should be a little warmer than it would be for a shower because it's going to cool off a little bit and the resident is not going to be submerged in the water. But I do want to have them check the water before we start. So Lee, I'm going to have you just put your hand in the basin and see if that's okay. If your resident isn't very mobile, you could always wet the washcloth and put it on the back of their hand to make sure the temperature is okay for them. I'll put on my gloves. And then I'll put both my washcloths in the water. I'm gonna get a linen bag for my dirty linen. And again, everything's on a barrier so it doesn't get contaminated from whatever may have been on the tray table. So Leah, I'm gonna start by washing your face. I'm not gonna put any soap on that washcloth so we don't sting your eyes. And I'm gonna start from the inside of one eye and wipe outside. And then I would just change my cloth as many times as I need to to make sure that their eye is clean. And then I'll do that on the other side. And then continue to wash the rest of their face. Everything feel okay? And then I'm going to take a towel and gently pat dry. Okay, now we're going to wash your arm. So I'm just going to uncover your arm and nothing else. I'm going to put a towel down underneath your arm so we keep your bed dry. And then I'm going to untie your gown here and just slip that arm out. I'll keep you covered so you stay nice and warm. I'm going to open this washcloth up and get soap all over the washcloth. And then I'm going to wash the arm. And the order really doesn't matter or where you start. Make sure that we get the hands nice and clean and in between the fingers. And then I would do the armpit last. If the resident wanted their chest washed or if it were a female um, and the breast folds or abdominal folds are an area where they can um, get some moisture and redness, then you want to make sure that you clean underneath that well. And then the soapy washcloth I'm going to put on the side of my basin. The water inside is for rinsing and so we don't want to get any soap there. I'm going to take my second washcloth and rinse their skin. And making sure to get in between their fingers. And then underneath any breast folds or abdominal folds. And then since that doesn't have any soap on it, it can go back in my basin. And then I'm just going to use the towel underneath them to pat their skin dry. Making sure that any place where we have skin on skin 
like breast folds or abdominal folds gets especially dry so we don't have any moisture there that may cause skin irritation. Lee, would you like any lotion today? If the person did want lotion, I would put that on my gloved hand, warm up the lotion in my hands, and then just gently put that on their skin. And you don't want lotion in between skin creases or skin folds for that moisture reason. I would then take my tray table to the other side, do the same thing on the other arm. And then if they were going to get dressed, we'd put their clothing on. If they're going to stay in bed with the gown, I can just slip off their old gown, put on the new gown, keeping that underneath keeping them covered and warm the entire time. Get the dirty gown out. That in the linen bag. Okay, does everything feel okay, Lee? Okay. I'll put all my linens in the linen bag. And again, if they're in a bag, they can go on the floor once they're in that container. I'm gonna take the basin over to the sink. I would dump out the water and then put some soap in there and use a paper towel and wash that. And then I would rinse the basin, dry it out with paper towel, and then put it wherever the resident keeps it or the facility. Um, you can put the bathing supplies in the basin if that's what the facility does. And I would throw away my barrier, remove my gloves, Okay, I'm going to lower your bed back down, Lee. And your collet is right here. Bed is locked. I'm going to put all my supplies away. We're going to provide for your, open up the privacy again. I'll be back to get you for lunch.